What's up guys? This is Creator for the Super Duty channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Super Duty transmission or the automatic transmission, the 5R1110W. Um, if you've got a 03 to 07 Super Duty truck with an automatic transmission, this video is going to be really important for you guys. There is one upgrade that you really pretty much need to be doing, um, and that is upgrading to the 08 upgraded Super Duty transmission pan. And the reason you want to upgrade it is because they upgraded the filter to a full flow pleated filter with the bypass valve on it. This is actually a full flow filter. Um, it'll filter your transmission pump fluid at full flow. Unlike the stock transmission pan, all you six liter guys, you need to do this upgrade. Um, the new pan is slightly larger to accommodate the bigger filter. And the, the filter that's in there, uh, it's not a full flow. It's just a screen filter, um, just like a lot of a lot of uh, car automatic transmissions. Uh, you need to upgrade to a Super Duty filter and a Super Duty pan. And you might think that your uh, frame-mounted canister filter there, you might think that that's doing a, a good job filtering, but it is not. That's a bypass filter. It's only seeing about 10% of the flow and that's when the filter's not plug, uh, clogged up. As soon as this thing clogs up, it just doesn't do anything. It just sits there. It's just a, a you know, a, a soaking piece of toilet paper um, soaking in transmission fluid. Um, it doesn't really do anything. Um, in fact, once you do the transmission pan upgrade, you can just leave that filter out uh, because it's not doing anything anyways. Uh, I'll see if I can get a video showing the inside of that later. Um, showing that it's just only getting a small amount that just happens to make it through the filter and back into the system. It, it's not full flow, meaning the fluid is not forced through the filter and then on to the next step. It only sees a small amount and it's up to the filter whether that small amount goes back into the other side of the system or not. So it's not seeing full flow. And on a Super Duty truck, you need to be filtering your fluid 100%. That becomes especially important if you're going to switch to a different fluid. Now, a lot of you uh, 6 liter guys, a lot of you Super Duty guys probably have ne been uh, neglecting your transmission and uh, you either haven't changed the fluid, you've never done a flush, um, not sure what to do. Um, if you're going to switch to like a Valvoline Max Life, which now does carry the full LV and SP certification, so it is supposedly 100% compatible with our, our trucks for our transmissions, um, it's got different conditioners in there. It's got slightly different uh, characteristics, slightly different set of conditioners. Um, it's not the same as your Ford LV and your Ford uh, Mercon SP fluid. If you're going to switch to one of these fluids, you need to install a filter. Either go with the Ford upgraded 08 pan and, and, uh, and filter, or uh, put a, like a MagnaFlow in line. That was my first step. Um, you can do that pretty cheap. You just cut your cut your cooler line right there and put a half inch MagnaFlow filter. Um, inside there is a pleated filter with a bypass and a magnet. Um, the magnet catches any medical uh, medical uh, metal particles. Sorry. Um, so at the very least, you want one of these. Even even if you haven't changed your fluid, um, you want to be running some sort of uh, filtration, especially like a, a filter with a magnet on it. So pretty much 100% of the flow out of the transmission, uh, once the thermostat reaches temperature, comes through this filter. Uh, medical part metal, <laughs> metal particles get caught by the magnet, and the pleated filter catches uh, any larger contaminants. Uh, so at the very least, go to O'Reilly's or you know wherever, get a a full flow one half inch magnifold filter. Um, that can be like a stop gap until you actually do the pan upgrade. But uh, when you switch fluids, that's when uh, you might start getting uh, some of your clutch plates sloughing off a little bit of their, their old uh, plate material. Um, that's just because there's slightly different conditioners in here. And uh, you want to be able to catch that stuff once it falls off. With the stock setup, uh, 03 to 07, um, you got that little screen filter in the transmission pan, and you got a, a bypass filter that's not doing anything at all. So, in terms of part numbers here, this is the pan, 
HC3Z7A194-B and the filter itself. This is a $38 filter from Cowsley. FT-180-8C3Z-7A098-D. I would recommend going with the um, OEM filter. You don't want to mess around with that. That's a precision made uh, instrument there. The pan you could go aftermarket. It just needs to accommodate this bigger filter. Uh, you might want to check with Anthony uh, Super Duty Service in Green Valley, Missouri. He could probably ship you out an aftermarket pan much cheaper than Towsley can send it to you. But both of these together from Towsley or AutoNation uh, are under $100 shipped for both of them. That's the best $100 you can uh, it's the best present you can give your transmission or your truck over its lifetime. Your automatic transmission will thank you in the long run. Now if you've never done a flush or you've never uh, done a, a drain and fill, um, there is a thermostat in the transmission which does not open up until the transmission reaches 160 degrees. So a lot of people say you need to do a hot flush. You need to go to a, a dealer or a facility that has a hot flusher machine. Um, that way that the, the fluid is heated up as it's cycled into the transmission and uh, it keeps that, that thermostat open so that the flush can actually complete. Uh, most transmission shops don't have a hot flush machine and they just uh, they tell you to run, a, run your truck, get it all nice and warm, and then they just do the flush while it's still hot. And uh, the theory with the hot flush machine is that um, unless you're heating the fluid, the transmission thermostat is going to close right up on you and the fluid's not even going to go in. Uh, on my old transmission I found that it actually stayed open at a much lower temperature than uh, a lot of people are saying on the forums, um, but that's up to you. Uh, at the very least you want to do a drain and fill with a genuine forward fluid, uh, or if you're going to switch over to Max Life, which I have done and many other people have done, you want to upgrade uh, to a better filter. That way uh, anything that the new conditioners stir up in the transmission is going to get caught by that new filter and you're going to be okay. Don't just change fluid and run everything the way it was and expect it to uh, run good. Uh, I actually had a, a transmission die on me for a combination of reasons and uh, one of them was a switch over to MaxLife fluid without any added filtration. It kind of clogged up my pump and starved my, uh, starved my transmission of, of lubrication and killed it. So if you're going to switch over to fluid, uh, switch over to your filter, and I would, I would upgrade your filter regardless. So let's, let's get into the process of doing the pan swap here.